when something doesn't work, right, you can keep things going. We saw it this past weekend, um, especially in, in Grand Finals. But getting right into game one here, we've got Hayes' Diddy Kong against against Sola's Hero here on PS2. Yeah, this is an interesting kind of opening from, uh, from Sola and from Hayes himself. Uh, I really do appreciate the uh, the Diddy throughout the entirety of Sola's roster. Uh, Diddy Kong's utility with Banana can almost always make Diddy Kong the uh, the responder, and that's honestly something that Hero, that Sola's Hero is extremely good at. Hero's an amazing character. Hero's an amazing character at clicking buttons second, and Sola manifests that extremely, extremely well. But you don't have to click buttons second if you're always being the short get under and uh, get under hero some of your uh, aerial frame data and always being able to uh, low profile and just spam these insanely, insanely quick moves and smother uh, smother Sola into oblivion. Absolutely. Did these frame data just something just on another level has some of the best frame data in the game? We saw earlier the bounce come out from Solo, which is something that he, he has to play around in this matchup, right? It does just completely invalidate state banana. It also, but at the same time, so, um, Hayes has been doing a really good job playing around it and has just managed to keep Sola in the corner for just extended periods of time so far early in this first game. Yeah, this is Hayes being extremely aggressive, able to find the bounce again, but the the setup by taking center and then forcing Sola on his retreat to fall back into the banana. Yeah, unable to close out the stock and then the bounce coming in clutch. The automatic response to that big whiff turning into a massive, massive, almost a massive punish for Hayes. So they just need to find something to close out here. Catching the roll with the up smash. Excellently spaced. Again, threatening with that banana and forcing Sola to pick something different from neutral getup, which comes so clutch that oh, on stage recovery, it. man. However, he brought it right back, even there, finding in the F tilt 1 and F tilt 2 with the buffs. Has another one here, finds the bang, bang, and all of a sudden, just like that, what was an even game, and even Hayes' lead is 60, but just like that, again, finds the corner situation, 44%, and this is where Hayes has made his money. He, looking for the juggle situation, Solo still in the corner and getting put off stage again, UBL, he does not find his way out of there. Yeah, there's a lot of pivoting and a lot of bouncing back and forth when it comes to these corners. Uh, Sola being able to feel very comfortable within them, knowing that Hayes wants to be the aggressor when they're in the corner and uh, so uh, and uh, effectively pressure them, but also being able to turn that on its head and taking so Sola's comfort and just uh, taking advantage of the situation that you're in, taking advantage of that position. He's like, I don't care if you're playing patient in order to get around this. I'm still on you and I still have initiative. And that initiative is so strong for Diddy Kong when they can just wait, bait, and punish. And I'm looking for the two frame there again, Ritual. We're almost seeing the close out and there it is. Not the back air, which would have killed, uh, close out the stock a little bit earlier, but oh no, kaboom. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and, 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 that's, and that's the second time we've seen that where Hayes finds a way to take a stock off extended corner pressure situations, but then just kind of gets a little overzealous in his movement after after taking the stock and and Sol is able to punish it and he set to neutral. Remember, the only stock that matters is the last one, and so Hayes' mistakes really could come back to bite him if he's not careful. Completely agree, Ritual. The uh, getting a little bit antsy with the movement and uh, overusing it is something that Hayes does uh, with a shocking amount of frequency. He likes to press buttons. He likes to uh, he likes to feel like he's mixing you, which is a good thought. Everyone likes to feel like they're mixing you. But sometimes against the walking uh, the walking arsenal that is Hero, with that arsenal being random, you really got to sometimes take a load off and take a moment just to chill out and let Hero feel the pressure in the mid-range rather than always trying to bounce back and forth and uh, continuously mixing up your opponent. And, and Diddy's, and two Diddy, you mentioned earlier as well Diddy's, um, Diddy's frame data. And I think it's even more pronounced in this matchup because not only, right, like, Hero's frame data is below Ooh. average and he has all this buffs to counter it. Fine. Looking for an F smash, just trying to make something happen, but the monkey flip 180 at the ledge is going to take it. He manages to hold on, take game one. Really good stuff from Sola, though, and we've still got a whole rest of a set in front of us, so this, and this one's far from over. Oh, uh, absolutely. The, the way that he, Sola played that is no is leaves plenty of room for flexibility plenty of room for for better reactions or different uh, call outs depending on the setup 
Uh, I also like to point out that Hayes saved a lot of those monkey foot grabs till the very end, towards late in stocks. And since stocks were lasting frequently until 170, 180, this kaboom is kaboom. But since you're surviving so long and your opponent is just holding on to stocks for almost 200% of the time, that's a lot of data that you have to sort through as a solo in order to play in defense, play out of the corner, get out of some sticky situations. And if you're constantly thinking about just the last thing that happened in order to avoid it, that's when things like monkey foot grab are really going to come in and blow you back. Absolutely, and getting Vite into it here on small battlefields, we see oh, a little no. stage counter back. The banana into F smash didn't look like optimal DI either, and just like that, a quick zero to death out of the gates by Sola, really just putting an emphatic start from what was a very close loss from him last game, trying to show that he's made the adjustments, he sees what happens, and it, looking to take the stock, but again, finds his way out of the corner. He couldn't do that at all last game. And that's where Air Hayes has made his money. He's trying to fight Sola here in, in these even in settings. Nah. Work out again. In, in sorry, has worked out in Sola's favor over and over and over. And we see it again. Only sixty nine point nine percent here. Air taken throughout this wow. entire game so far. I'm just appalled at not so much Sola's uh, gameplay with the banana because it's uh, it's rather standard. You grab it, you try and hit Diddy with it, and if you do. That's a forward smash. Oh, baby, we're going. But it's Hayes' lack of... Oh, no. That oh, goes no. through shield, Hayes. Yeah. Knowledge check. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, right? Like, he, he caught him on a dash in, so there wasn't a ton of options that... that Like, Hayes didn't have a ton of options there. You could spot dodge. I mean, you it's, can... It's very reactable. <laughs> that, it's reactable, but he catches... He catches the just the, the flip in here so there's the end lag if you want to start you probably can't buffer away a you probably right you wait now hold like, on dash away if, there time. if you're in shield the end lag of monkey flip is done it's yeah. just a matter of reaction at that no, point i, I agree but i'm saying the turnaround animation plus like maybe you could have slingshot slingshot back or something but the full the, the turnaround animation probably would have oh yeah he, he couldn't like ex escape the hitbox but he could have definitely have timed a timed a better defensive option that wasn't shield. absolutely and that was a clean down throw banana into down air starting off game number three here on hollow bastion i really like the stage variety we've seen so far in this set at at often we see a lot of players go back to a lot of stages that they feel comfortable on so it's nice to see this variety through three games so far yeah and you just kind of have to let game two roll off your back a little bit it's like okay that's hero that's orange that's a lot of rng momentum and it's a lot of respect that you have to give when oh, no. Sola has Banana throwing out that fourth match, assuming it would hit without even the hit confirmed. That one closing out the stock, though, getting the trip. And again, Hayes not playing around his own Banana and Sola taking massive advantage of that, especially since Hero can play with just specials super easy. So you can hold on Banana for hold on to Banana for a very long time. I think Hero is one of the most terrifying. Is, is maybe the one of, is one of the most terrifying characters to play against in Ultimate. It's only because at any point he's just he can just hit you once or twice and you just die. It doesn't matter what percent you are. You can always get whacked. You can always get crit F smashed if he has a buff. It's just like how do you like he's terrifying. And in some ways he's just as terrifying as as Kazuya. Yeah, it's just as a, a different uh, a difference in sort of that manner because hey, he literally has buttons that just say explode, but that you have to play the gambling game. You have to play like, do you get it on the menu? Do you have the time to read menu? It's much more about a mid to long range defensive movement and um, stance rather than a offensive. Uh, a reckless aggression leading to high risk, high uh, low risk, high reward uh, pr uh, presence. And as we're seeing, that's basically what Sol has been doing running up shield into down smashing for that uh, previous stock that they took was pure and simple, like defensive movement turning into a big, big punish. And Sol is doing that excellently here in game three, finally dropping their first stock, but having taken two and with a full bar of mana. You're sitting very, very pretty, and you're sitting very, very dangerous. If you're, if you're looking at it from Hayes' perspective, where now Soli just gets to look at their menu with almost little fear. 
And also being, right, a stock lead is so huge for a character like Hero because they force the opponent to interact with them. They can just sit back and camp for buffs and say, come, come get me. I'm gonna have all the options. And we see it again, the sneeze and F smash, gonna find the stock, gonna find the game. And Sola high rolling his way to a 2-1 victory. Great stuff from both players. The first game made it look like it was gonna be a bit of a close set. Hayes had some incredible neutral conversions that just, and then that he then just took into corner situations that he never let the foot off the gas in game one. But game two and three were really just Sola's hero stealing the show. Oh, he found, he, he didn't get caught in those same positions. It was, it was like, yeah, he, he got caught at like 70 after hit multiple times with F smash. And it just, oh. you just explode when playing against that character. And, and we saw, we saw Hayes play really well, but then get over aggressive, whether it was with his movement after taking a stock or, you know, he uh, you mentioned that down smash on shield. Oh, that was um, from 